Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, my Dark Knights, welcome back to Masochist, the Jinzo Challenge, the Masochist Run. Well, basically, I'll just call it the Jinzo Masochist Run, because basically, this is what this is. If there's anything, I think Jinzo would definitely create this, so, um, but, we're back with a new episode for you guys, the, we got knocked down. Because, um, yeah, we got knocked down because, uh, season changed. So we have to try and get back to where we were at, which was, I think, bronze, was it two or three? I, mean, I was pretty sure it was bronze three, but, uh. I'm very confident in the deck. We we had an uh, an abominable unchained soul. We have a labyrinth, uh, lady of the labyrinth, and we have the cashier of Fenrir. And honestly, those three things I think will lead us to victories early on. And this is a a really good hand for my deck to produce. I EMR is the worst card in my hand. But other than that, all these cards are very good in my hand right now. Um, okay, set to pass. I'm okay with that. Okay. Alright, draw. I draw Horus. See, I like the older, or the, the other levels of Horus, but I think they're strictly just SRs. Uh, we'll go Protops. Uh, Protop's getting boosted by a hundred. And we'll go into the face down. It is text changer. Uh, we'll go to main two. And we'll just set one and pass. If anything, I think this is the link deck. I was pretty sure this is the link starter deck. I was pretty sure. I'll take it. I'll take it. If that's all it takes for for this guy to just dip, I will not say no to that. And 300 gems just for advancing. We got cards that I'm never going to use. Um, I'm just going to use this to just base, uh, do another one to just basically just go right up to bronze again and start from there. 8-Bit Robin. That's actually a pretty cool name. I do like that. But, uh, yeah, we're, uh, we already have one pack banked in. I got no legacy packs for that, by the way. That's very upsetting. All right. Oh, this guy's legit. He's got the cards and everything. I'd like more Hydro get-ons. What the heck is that? Pr oh my god, we're playing prank kids. Oh boy, we're actually playing a prank kids. I can I beat prank kids? Can I beat prank kids? I mean, we can try. But I don't know if I could beat prank kids. I don't know. If this is full power prank kids, I don't know. Nibiru? Huh. Okay. So this may be full power prank kids. I don't think I can beat full power prank kids. I, I cannot beat full power prank kids. Yeah, there, there's, there's not a chance I can beat full power prank kids. Not with this deck. Uh, now, I may be able to if I had Lady Labyrinth in my hand or an Unchained Soul. It might have been big three. If I had any one of the big three, I probably could have won that, but not with the hand they had. No. All right. Alright. 
exact same hand I had before, by the way. It, except for change, you change like two cards. Oh, I can't beat full power sword soul combo. Yep, we can't beat full power sword soul combo. Okay. Okay, okay, um, let's just go get her pack, shall we? Yeah, I, I can't be full power sword soul combo. Alright. Let's go ahead and get this master pack. All right, you or SR, can we get an upgrade? Nope. At least an SR's in there. Uh, ZW, Earthbound card we can't use. Alternate Guys card we can't. Oh, this Stungray actually is one of the better cards we could have pulled. Um, Speeder need to reveal a machine. It is a machine though. I can actually use EMR with it. Tin Goldfish is actually incredible. Galaxy Soldier. Okay. Uh, Galaxy Soldier is if I can send another light from hand, I can special summon it. But um, to get the second one, that's going to be harder. All right. So we're definitely going to add... We're definitely adding the... <laughs> one card definitely i think like two now we could add galaxy soldier we could but I, I, we're definitely adding the tin goldfish um the speeder we could add we're definitely adding abyss stungray and we're not adding that does this be the top here? Add one at no. Galaxy Soldier in defense mode. I mean, send another light. Do I have another light that I could play? I don't think I do. I do have several lights. We'll get rid of Gil Gilla Gilla Lancer. And the other card we'll get rid of is. Probably Knight and Sorcerer. Eh, not, not incredibly bad. Oh, uh, what? Well, uh, probably Horus. Yeah. Alright. Let's actually get a duel against someone who's not... Playing full power stick and sword soul? That'd be great. No full power sword soul, please. Or full power prank dude. We had a really good record last episode. Which was the premiere episode, by the way. If you did not watch it, you need to go back and watch it. Because that was a good episode. Now we have the little combo here. Because uh, Tiding does nothing. Um, I am literally going to play this. And then we're going to summon the Illusionary Gentleman. Because, unaffected by all monster effects. And if your opponent summons an effect monster while I control a face down or non-effect monster, I get to draw two. So, I'm not complaining. That's pretty good. Target one dragon monster control and one card your opponent controls return in the hand. Actually, that's not bad for the first effect because that's a machine. It's a machine! It's a freaking machine. It doesn't look like a machine. Huh. Rise of the Mega Monarch is probably the next card that's going. This, this card actually is up. Okay. Okay, um, 
What is that? Go, 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 giant. Oh, no. Dang it. This is bad. This is a lot of barnacles. Oh, that's right. Go, go, giant goes to defense. Okay. All right. What do we want to draw here? Abyss Stungray is pretty good. I'm not going to complain about Abyss Stungray. It is a level 5. Ooh, actually, wait a sec. It is level 5. Do I run level 5 or rank 5s? I don't. All right, we'll just go to battle. I'll kill that. Okay. And I'll end. And then the next turn, I will be able to get an Abyss Stungray, which is a 1900 attacker. Can't be destroyed by battle. That, honestly, Abyss Stungray is one of our better cards in the entire deck. No lie. No lie. Actually, one of our better cards in the entire deck. Okay. Oh, face down monster. All right, good. Uh, on the end of the turn, I'll, we'll, we're going to activate Abyss. All right, and then draw. What are we drawing off the top? Negate attack. One of our better trap cards. Um, one of our only good trap cards, actually. Uh, we'll go to battle. What is this card you got here? Okay. So we're just playing Yuma dot deck. Okay. Or maybe we're just playing some kind of... Oh, we're playing that structure deck. The structure deck, the, the Yuma, or the Utopia structure deck. Which is still a problem. Could be a problem. Trying to think about what this guy will do here. I um, don't think he does much. Oh, your name is a uh, name I can't pronounce. Special Zexal Catapult. Okay. From your hand. Then if you control, you can make all monsters you can control. Okay, so you special summoning the Lightning Blade. Which... I'm not worried about in the slightest. Oh. Never mind. That was level four. Um, you realize they're not the same level, right? Unless you can level manipulate them. I don't think you can, can you? Okay. No, you can't. Okay. There's a reason why you did that. There, there's a reason why you did that. There, you're going to go into a rank 5, right? You you have a rank 5, right? Please tell me you have a rank 5. You, you better have a rank 5. <laughs> you better... Arr, you better have a rank 5. You be taking me cutlass. Rank five. Won't you just go Utopia Ray, which takes two rank level fives? I'm pretty sure it takes two level fives. Leo Arms takes two level fives, I believe. ZW Leo Arms, I believe, I think. Yes, this this takes three level five uh, three level fours. Two level fours, three level fives, two level fives. So you're probably going Leo Arms. 
Am I right? Ah, you're going Dragona Galbard. Cannot attack directly. You can attach one, add one Zexal spell trap from your deck deck. Okay. Why is Dragona Calbird 3,000 freaking attack? What, what, why is it 3,000 attack? What? Is there a reason why you did that? Prickle Fairy! Wait a minute, do I have a rank 4? I do. Uh, I mean, right now, I don't think this does anything for me. Uh, we are just going to pass the turn. Um, we do not have anything I can go into, even the extra deck's not great. I need to, uh, I can't, uh, this is Mascus. this is Mascus. Well, hi. D am I scared of a sylphid wing? Am I scared of a sylphid wing? I don't feel like I am. Okay. What? You gonna explain to me why you left that thing in attack? Okay. In the battle phase. Hmm. Very curious. I can tribute some of this thing next turn, right? I can. Okay. So next turn, we can summon Ryza. Ooh! I can! I can! I tribute both for Mega Ryza. Return that to the deck. It's like one card to target. We're going to target that. And the illusionary gentleman. Yes, yes, the illusionary gentleman. It's just for the spell. <laughs> for the field spell. Okay, and then I attack directly for 2 8. And I think we got this. I, I don't want to jump the gun, but I think we got this. Because Rise of the Mega Monarch. Yeah, I. I I think Rise of the Mega Monarchs got this for me. Yeah, Rise is just another big body. The good part is I can, like, use his additional effect to tribute summon him. If it's a tribute summon monster. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not... I think Rise is just good in the deck. I got the Gooser Bumpers all of a sudden. Okay. And if he destroys anything, I have an uh, abominable unchained soul. Oh, that put that, that at the top? Or was that just the luck of me drawing him? The illusionary gentleman! Yes, the illusionary gentleman. Tack. Okay. Ryza? Thank you, Ryza. Thank you, Ryza. There we go. Okay, so now that we're in bronze again, I think we change our mate. Three. Okay. And I finished the practical exam. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. So we need to go back. Let's edit. Well, first things first, we are going to... Uh, I don't want to change my icon. 
I do want... I do like that icon, not gonna lie. Uh, my mate is going to be... I mean, I kind of want to buy the mate right now. All right. Yay, I got the spell card thing. And now I'm at number four. All right, I need to answer three out of five. Question number one. Target a level four monster in your field. Special summon using this card in your hand. Wait, it would be two. No, it would be three. Oh, because it says seven. Uh, this is Goblin Thief. It was said to be the key to the Kari Curry. Isn't it the Gamma Oil? It's the Golden Gear Box. Okay. Well, I need to get these next two right. What is the level of monsters that are tribute summoned by tribute summoning two, seven and above? And the, what is the name of this card? It is Solemn Scolding. It is Solemn Warning. It's not Scolding. I'm an idiot. Alright, let's try again. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm stupid. Question number one. What type is this card? It's an insect. How many monsters are required? Two. Well, the falling does not belong to the battle step. It's the end step. What? Okay. It's seven or above. And this is... This I know now. Thank you. Really appreciate that. What do I need to do here? Tribute summon a monster. Okay, cool. I, I don't care. I really don't know. All right, let's go to shop. Let's go shopping. All right, accessories. I want Flame Wingman. I I want Flame Wingman. And then we got a new protector. Let's go wanted to scare our opponents. And then let's go with Card the Kesu. Uh, let's go Master Pack because we did win. All right, give me some new cards. First thing, sirs. Uh, second donkey. I can send another performer pal. Goody. Wait, I have another performer pal. Huh. I can actually play that. It's got a big booty. Mortronic Scramble. Negate the attacks with someone Mortronic from hand. Okay. This card's really good. This card's really good. Alu Mirage is literally a level 3 that decreases everything. Uh, Photon G Advancer. Uh. Oh, Move Man! Move Man! Uh, Dragon Shell, okay. And our secret rare, or super rare is a cell Recombination, okay. Don't have any idea what that card does. But we got a Alu Mirage, we got a Move Man. Alright, let's see what we got. Rigorous Reaver actually is one of the better cards. Lucky Iron Axe is pretty good, too. It lets me draw a card. Uh, Quarantine. Turn one set, reveal it, then return it to its original position. Uh, that's kind of dumb. But, Rigorous Reaver isn't that bad. I mean... I may play it. I may play it. Rigorous Reaver isn't crazy. But at least does what it needs to do.
All right. Of course, we go into the deck and lucky iron axes in. We're throwing this in. We're throwing the second donkey, the move man, and the Al Mirage as well. And what does Grass Chopper do? Oh, it's a Gemini. Okay, so cards we need to take out. Prickle Fairy, yes, has a big booty, but that's all she's good for. Um, these cards are okay. That card's okay. That actually has a bigger booty than the other one. We'll get rid of Spriggan's Brothers. Um, another card that's kind of useless is Tidying. And the other card that is useless in this deck is honestly the Mayakashi. And Rigorous Reaver is in. And we're going to take out the Goblin Zombie. We don't have enough zombies to really even use zombie, a Goblin Zombie. All right. Let's go ahead and get into more duels, baby. Let's get into more duels. All right, we win the coin toss. That's good to see. I forgot to use my new mate. That's all right. I'll do it if we hit silver. How about that? Ooh, interesting. Interesting hand here. Um, phase up field spell is in any field zone. I can do that. Okay. I think after this, we, we literally just set you and pass. Because, I mean, 2100 is a big booty. Wow, Grid Sweeper actually sucks. Grid, grid Sweeper actually sucks. Shield Crush? Wow, are you serious? That actually gets rid of my monster. Cool. You're actually getting... You actually got rid of my big booty. You're playing the structure deck. Cool. Cool. I mean, the good part is I can set the grid sweeper. Because you just gain 500 if you battle on normal during the damage step only. Why did you not attack me? Ha! I'm sorry. I just drew the best card of my freaking deck. And it's the card I needed. I summon Castira Fenrir. And then I set you... Then we go to battle. I go in. I said I go in. Fenrir effect. Banish. Continue. Boy, that's some card. <laughs> what is the... Like, the best card... And I just top deck it. Fenrir just is attached to me, dude. Fenrir loves me. It's one of my favorite cards, but still. I think they're gonna, in the next ban list, they are gonna limit Fenrir. Because Konami bans cards months, months later after they were... I mean, they'll hit this. They'll ban Fenrir. Or they'll limit Fenrir. 
And then they'll ban something that hits the fire deck. So, knowing them, that's probably what they're going to do. Um, there are some things that I would like to see. Um, Alright, we get two counters. What is in the structure deck? MST's in the structure deck, I think. Or in the starter deck, I believe. Or is it? Oh, Ballista Squad is. That's right. Tribute one monster, target one monster, destroy it. Or target one card. If you don't target Fenrir, you're dumb. You don't target Fenrir, you're actually stupid. That's what I thought. Okay. I was like, you, you better target Fenrir. Alright. Let's do this and draw two. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Um, we'll send that to Grave. Uh, we'll set that. I said let's set it. And then I'm gonna summon the sex. I'm summoning sex, baby. And I wanna pass the turn. Okay. Why'd you summon that in attack mode? You better be linking that thing off. You you better be linking that thing off. Okay. This guy's stupid. This guy's actually stupid. Hey, Lucky Iron Axe. I like Lucky Iron Axe. Anyway, I'm gonna summon Bumbuku. Then I'm gonna attach... The Lucky Iron Axe to Bambuku. Then I'm gonna battle. I'm gonna kill you. Oh my god. And then sex. Sex. The all powerful sex. That's right. That's right, buddy. We're going back to sex. Ugh. We should add Yagen. If I can get a worm Yagen. Unexpected die. Okay. I'm going to unexpectedly die. Because at this point, that's probably what you're doing. You're going to special summon Chosen from the World Chalice. I, I know what you're doing. Special summon him. Special summon the chosen. Special summon it. There we go. There we go. See, that's all you had to do. That's all you had to do. Do you want to kill him, Boo Boo? Oh, I'm, I need to activate negate attack now. That's a problem. You're not attacking? <gasps> Move, man. Okay. I summon. Return. Then I flip assuming. Then I summon.
My most powerful card. The one-eyed skill gainer. Then, I summon Move Man. Then, I go to battle. Go, one-eyed skill gainer. Kill. Let's go. Another win for the boy. Well, I think we will go ahead now. So we're back right where we were at before. In last episode. Uh, we'll end with our pack opening. Our one pack and our one legacy pack. So let's just go ahead now. Open our one pack. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. What do I want from this? Really, any good generic card would be good. Steamroid's not bad. Steamroid's really not bad. Um... Fuzzy Lanius, if I had more Raid Raptors, maybe. Aquamere Cycle, I do not play Aquamere. Mimicat, what is that? Dragon Shield, okay. Oh, Utopia Buster? I don't have Utopia. I have a Stardust! <laughs> I have a Stardust Dragon, though! Okay. I don't even know if I can make Stardust. Yeah, I can't even make Stardust. But we have Stardust. Okay, we have some of the greatest cards. Like... Like, actual... Like, we have... Some of the best cards to go into. Like, okay, I have a Steamroid. I could play Steamroid. I mean, it's a beater. I mean, at this point, I might as well play Steamroid. We need... The guys we can get, right? I mean... I think, if anything, we take out the Bojingi Crow... Crane, I mean... So yeah, I think that's what we do. Um, other than all, this it, it was a good episode. I mean, we got a... The deck is coming together slowly. I mean, we're getting rid of some of the bad cards. Um, but there still is a ton of bad cards. But the as long as we have those big three here, we're, we're good. I really feel like we as long as we have these three... We're good. What is it? Can only be known by discarding all other cards in your hand and tributing one. Mo oh god, that's terrible. That's actually terrible. That actually sucks. See, this would be good if um if we had a if galaxy. If it says galaxy, because this is a galaxy monster, it'd be good if I had another one. Oh wait. I can add one galaxy. Isn't this... Isn't this a galaxy? No, it's a cypher monster. Freaking dang it. Okay, well, thank you all so much for watching this episode. If you did enjoy, feel free. Go ahead, hit that like button. We'll be back uh, next week with a new episode of the Masochist Run uh, for you guys. And as always, stay awesome, my dark nights.